Verizon has agreed to buy Yahoo for a whopping 4.8 billion dollars. The internet giant has been struggling to keep up with its competitors in search, social media and video. Yahoo will be integrated with AOL under Verizon. Jill Wagner is on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with more on this big sale. Big is probably not a big enough word. Can you explain the significance of this deal, Jill? Well, Anne-Marie, this bidding process has been going on for months. Verizon pretty much has always been seen as the front runner here. Yahoo, of course, was an internet pioneer when you think back to the 90s and the dot-com boom, but it's really struggled against Facebook and Google. CEO Marissa Meyer was brought in four years ago to try and turn things around. Yahoo just couldn't compete, so this deal really marks the end of an era, so to speak. Amory. So we know that Yahoo has been struggling to keep up with competition. So what exactly does Verizon get out of this deal? Okay, so Verizon will get Yahoo's internet business. So that includes the search engine, email service, news and sports site. It also gets Yahoo's advertising tools. Not included in this is Yahoo's stake in Alibaba and Yahoo Japan. But this deal pretty much lets Verizon expand its digital media and advertising business. Last year, Verizon bought AOL for $4.4 billion, which included Huffington Post and TechCrunch. So Yahoo's going to be integrated into AOL. Right now, Facebook and Google are still by far the two biggest players in that digital advertising space. Will Verizon be able to compete? I guess we'll see. Amory. Um, I'm sure that this has created a, a bit of a buzz on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange there. Um, what will happen with current Yahoo shareholders? Okay, so again, Yahoo still keeps the very profitable Alibaba and Yahoo Japan. They're going to be spun into a separate publicly traded company. Yahoo also keeps thousands of patents. Those are reportedly worth about a billion dollars. I should note, though, Anne-Marie, that both Yahoo and Verizon are trading lower on the news. So Marissa Meyer promised to revamp Yahoo when she uh, became the CEO four years ago. There was a lot of fanfare about it. Now, uh, certainly she's going to be making out like a bandit in this deal. <laughs> she's going to do all right. There'll be no telethons for her. But uh, do we know anything about, uh, first off, let's talk a little bit about the compensation package. Okay, well, in terms of her severance, perhaps, she could potentially walk away with about $50 million. But it is still unclear what her role is going to be. Verizon isn't saying much. Most analysts expect that she's going to leave. She did write an email to employees, though, saying that she loves Yahoo, that she's planning to stay, and that it's important for her to take Yahoo into its next chapter. She also says that she and AOL CEO Tim Armstrong, they've worked together in the past. She says she's looking forward to working with him again. Is there room, though, for these two big CEOs at the top? What would her role be? Does Verizon, does AOL even want her to stay? It's too soon to tell. And as you mentioned, again, no telethons for her. She leaves. She's going to take home a pretty nice severance package. She's only been there about four years. She said she's proud of her work. Uh, so still a lot of questions here. Anne-Marie. Right. Jill Wagner on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Thank you so much, Jill.